Salutations, Queen of Shade here, coming to you with another Lessons of a 41-year-old artist. Let me start by saying this. I am not a gospel singer. I'm not. I don't do a bunch of runs. Um, I sing my notes straight. I do more of a choral. I have more of a choral sound. Um, I'm a mezzo-soprano or a counter-tenor. And there's a reason why I'm explaining this to you. When I first started my music career umpteen years ago, because I'm 41 now, I was in my 20s then, my A&R and my producers and the record label, they were interested in me because I was not a gospel singer. I don't sound like a gospel singer. I don't sound like a church singer, even though I came out of church. My sound was not derivative of church. And I want you to know something. There's a reason why I'm saying this. I had a uniqueness and they always told me that I would have a career because I did not sound like anyone else. Sometimes you have to embrace your differences and not just sometimes, all of the time. I remember being in church and I remember not sounding like a gospel singer. I remember the first solo I sang, his eye is on the sparrow and I sang it my way. And they put a soprano with me, a gospel singer. I was 10, she was 10 and I did my thing. And then they put her there to kind of follow me and give the crowd what they needed as far as a gospel sound. But I never tried or attempted to sound like a gospel singer. And my A&R, like I said, they, baby, you have an illustrious career because you don't sound like anything we've ever heard. I want you to know something. I had to create my own genre of music. No one knew what to do with my voice outside of that record company. Even they weren't prepared for what I needed. So I had to walk. And I remember when I walked, they were so upset because they said in their set, you got to understand artists are signed to labels and the labels have sets of voices that they own. And they were very upset about my walking away because they had nothing that sounded like me. And I'm 41 years old and I still haven't heard anything that sounded or sounds like me. Embrace your differences. The things that people poke fun at you about, don't be afraid or ashamed of those things. People talked about my voice for eons. They talked about how different I sounded. They talked about how my sound would do better in Europe. They talked about, you know, the little quirks in my voice. But, you know, it's very difficult to fake my voice. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to do what I do naturally. I remember the opera singers at the Met when I met a couple of them. They said, you know, you do naturally what we've been trained and studied to do four and five years. I just have something unique. And baby, I'm standing before you because I need you to understand something. I'm not coming down on gospel singers. I'm not coming down on the people that run, 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 run until they can't run anymore. I am just saying that you need to find your uniqueness. Because baby, a lot of you want to get signed, but you sound like everybody else. And the sad thing about sounding like everybody else is that the label is not going to tell you that. They're just going to tell you you're not what they're looking for. They have that voice. They have that rendition. If you look at all of the greats, Whitney, Shaka, Gladys, Aretha, Patty, uh, Donna Summer, uh, Madonna. If you look at all of them, Diana Ross, uh, Josephine Baker, Eartha Kitt, Grace Jones. If you look at all the voices in the world, none of them sound like each other. But yet and still, we have millions of young people that come to social media and they sing and they all sound the same. So if you have something unique, hold on to it. You don't have to be like everybody else. Be you. I guarantee you, it'll take you further 
than trying or attempting to do what everybody else does. My church, they made fun of my voice because I didn't sound like a gospel singer. But baby, I now have a career and many of them are still in the pews being called upon to sing whenever that is. I'm the professional singer. Fancy that. I never saw that coming because I believed, oh, it's so different. It's strange. Yes, it is strange. I sound like a Disney princess. Yes, it is strange to sound like I do at 41. But it's even stranger to make the money from it and take it to the bank. Huh. 